What happened to Kathleen Moore? It is a question that is yet to be answered, but tonight her boyfriend is behind bars, accused of murder. This is Nightside. I'm Carolina Lead. Colin Knapp was arrested this afternoon on second degree murder charges. This after Kathleen went missing more than a week ago. 10 Tampa Bay's Angelina Salcedo is near the Walgreens where her phone was found in a dumpster. Angelina, investigators have pieced together a timeline of her disappearance. Carolina, this 7-Eleven, one of the last locations Colin Knapp says he was with Kathleen in the early morning of November 29th. Her phone found days later in a dumpster across the street at the Walgreens tonight. Colin Knapp is charged with her murder after the Pasco County Sheriff's Office says that they executed a search warrant for second degree homicide. Sheriff Chris Nako spoke a few hours ago highlighting the rest of the charges that are on his record to show really how dangerous he actually is. You're seeing those on your screen right now. He had 10 previous felony arrests and nine misdemeanor arrests since 2004. Some included aggravated assault and aggravated violence, but Kathleen wasn't involved. Her friends told the sheriff's office they were known to argue and fight. Tonight, though, they just want to know where Kathleen is and why this happened. As candles burn, Kathleen Moore's friends search for answers. Her manager at the Whiskey Wings, devastated by her loss, now hoping her accused murderer, Colin Knapp, will help find her. That Colin tells us where she's at so that we can bring her home in peace and give her seats. She deserves that. She doesn't deserve wherever she's at right now. She deserves to be home and be at peace tonight. But our, our thoughts and prayers are with the family and friends of Kathleen Moore. Pasco County Sheriff Chris Nako says Kathleen went missing early November 29th, but they're not sure when or where. There was multiple things that he said during his first statement of us that we found inconsistent that made us very suspicious of, of her whereabouts. Evidence uncovered through their investigation shows Knapp had brought clothes with him to work and threw them in a dumpster. Those clothes led to his arrest after stains of Kathleen's blood were found. We wish that Colin would provide us the information of where Kathleen is. And we delayed this press conference a little bit because we just arrested him this afternoon. We were hoping he was going to provide information during his interview. As one of our detectives described, he was very cold. Even when we were begging with him to tell us where her body is, he wouldn't give us that information. While they search for Kathleen's body. She didn't deserve it. She knew the person she was. She was a hard worker. Everybody knows her as a worker. She was Friends and family will keep candles in Kathleen's light burning. It's not over because she's still not home. And when I made this vigil for her, it was, I vowed to light it every night until she's home. When she finally comes home, she'll be at peace. Now, during that press conference earlier um, this evening, I asked the sheriff why Knapp was not declared a person of interest or a suspect in this missing persons case for Kathleen. He says they were trying to make sure that he cooperated with them throughout this case. Up until today, when it was his arrest, he was cooperating, but now he will not say where Kathleen's body is. I am told that he has invoked his Fifth Amendment right, and he's set to be arraigned in court tomorrow afternoon. The Pasco County Sheriff's Office is releasing photos of Knapp's car and truck. They're hoping someone may have seen them between November 28th and the 29th. If you have any information on these vehicles or the case itself, call the Sheriff's Office.